Hey guys, Gabe Turner here from GabeTurner.com with my second video on how to get free traffic from Facebook groups. Now, the first one we talked about other people's groups, which would be the share your link spam groups, which I've seen people have success with. I've had limited success with myself. Check that out in video one. If you really hustle hard, you can make something happen in those. The one we're talking about right now is other people's groups, the other type, which is genuine interest in community groups, which I'm sure you're in one of those and we're going to talk about that today so and the other one video three will be on starting your own group which is probably the most powerful way um, but the genuine interest community groups now you're probably in one of these and in, in something that you're interested in if it's a sport or business stuff or whatever uh, these can be incredibly powerful and some people some people's groups are way more powerful than others. Uh, others are just, you just gotta find the active groups. You gotta find the active groups in your niche or whatever you're in. There may be several of them and you wanna join the ones that are actually alive and active and people are sharing and talking and conversation is flowing. And so you wanna join in on the conversation. It, I mean, it's pretty simple. I'm just sharing it with you guys <laughs> if you don't know yet. Um, so you wanna add value add value to the conversation. If someone is asking for help, someone is asking for an opinion on something, jump in there and share it. And if you're getting the notifications for that and you you see it first, jump in there and be the first one to share and take advantage of that. This is your chance to be, you're basically standing up in a room. Some of these groups are, have thousands of people in them. You're standing up in a room with a thousand people in it and you're sharing what you know from your brain and it can help a lot of people and it also positions you as a leader because you're someone who can stand up and share some wisdom and hey you you know a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't know so don't put yourself down you know there are probably a lot of people in the groups who are pros at whatever the, the thing is that, that the group is about but you you know some stuff too so so you just offer what you have and a lot of times these groups are really friendly and it's it's a safe place. Of course, you want to look for groups that are a safe place to share and be open. Um, and you want to help people. Be generous. I mean, if someone is having trouble with something, offer to get on Skype with them or, or put a long post. Like, uh, take some time, take 10 minutes or whatever, and write a really helpful response to their question. And it's amazing because that content lives forever in that group. So if anyone is ever going to search for that, they might find your post later and they say, wow, that, that Gabe guy, he sure knows a lot about this. Maybe I should reach out to him and be his friend and, and see if, if, you know, want to do something together, whatever. You know, it, it is just a way, it, it like magnifies, it multiplies your relating faster. Like if you're just talking with one person one-on-one, -on -one, that's, that's cool and that's awesome. But but if you're doing it in front of a Facebook group of a thousand more or more people, it, it just multiplies all those people. There's probably a handful of them or lots of them who are going to say, wow, I like that person. And if you're consistent, if you're consistently a presence in the group, not just checking in once a week, but every day, maybe in the morning and the night, and maybe in the middle of the day, you check in in these groups and you actually serve the community and you be a, a, a valuable part of that community it's not going to be forgotten and people will love you. You'll make friends faster than you could realize. And if you really commit and, and take part in this, these groups, it can be amazing for you. Um, it's an amazing way to network, uh, spend quality time, be consistent, follow the rules. Don't post your blog posts or, or your, your business link or whatever, unless they say it's okay. Some groups say that you can do it on, on a certain day. Some groups say don't share any links at all. Don't worry about that. Just be cool, share your value, share what you have to offer. And people will, people, if, if it really makes people, uh, if their ears perk up, they will reach out to you. Don't worry about that. Um, be, be focused on giving first. Uh, so follow the rules, get your personal profile ready. Now, because you're going to be cool and awesome and people are going to want to find out about you, make sure your personal Facebook profile is set with your website link with who are you? Does it say who you are? Does it have information about you? Or like so many people who are promoting stuff on online or on Facebook is, is your Facebook profile just filled with your biz op link? 
Is that all you ever talk about? Is that all you ever share about? Do not do that, guys. That is gross. Um, be a real person. You're a real person, right? You you have interests other than business. You have you have things that you care about other than business. You have a family. You have friends. Share about that stuff too, and then sprinkle in the other stuff in a cool way, as as you know, as it all mixes in together. So that is what I have guys. These groups are really powerful. I have not used them to the extent that I could. I have seen other people network their way to the top with, with things like this and it's really amazing. Some good examples of groups are like the Cult of Copy is a great group. Coffee with Dan is a great group and also another one called Freedom Hackers Mastermind. And these are some of the really successful big Facebook groups out there, at least in the, the niches and areas I'm interested in. If you want to check out what an awesome Facebook group is, go to any one of those and you'll, you'll get some lessons learned for sure. They, it is incredible how much value and how cool so many of the people are in there. And don't just be a fly on the wall in these groups. You just, you know, start, jump in and share. And so... It's a really powerful thing. Now check out video three where I'm going to talk about starting your own Facebook group. And there's a lot of power in that. That's even the most powerful way. Now I wanted to talk about, real quick, if you want faster results than, than this, I mean you should probably be doing both. If you want faster revolt, the results on Facebook, there's an awesome strategy I'm just starting to get into, which is a, a way to do Facebook ads for really afford, in a really affordable way and it's a very more, much more predictable way to drive lots of traffic fast, and you can you can build your email list super fast and make affiliate sales really quick. It's super cool. Go to GabeTurner.com/social-traffic or GabeTurner.com/traffic. There's even more info right there. Check it out. I hope you guys are having fun on Facebook. This Facebook group is stuff is super fun, and I love it. So if you see me around, say hi. Uh, hope this is helpful to you, and I'll catch you guys later.